convert the numeral to a numeral in base 10. Okay, um, right now the, the number 301 is in base 4, and we want to convert it to, you know, base 10. So recall that if you have a number written in base 10, let's say um, 8,942, you know, this is, we call that the, the, the ones spot, that's the tens, you have the hundreds, and the thousands. You know, and everything is in base 10, so really 1 is, you know, 10 to the 0, the 10 spot is 10 to the 1st, hundreds is 10 squared, the thousands is 10 to the 3rd, and so forth. So it's the same thing in other bases. So over here, we're going to have, you know, the, it's like the 1 spot, the tens, you know, and the um, 100 spot, except for everything is in base 4. So it's going to be 4 to the 0, 4 to the 1, and 4 squared. So that's what the, you know, the 3, the 0, and the 1 are in those spots. So like I said, we're going to use that to convert it into base 10. All right, so let's go ahead and write this out. So I've got the, like I said, you want to, you know, make sure you've got each one in its spot. So 3 is going to be times 4 squared. And then we'll add it to the next spot. So we have a 0 times 4 to the 1st. And then the last one, we have a 1 times 4 to the 0 power. Now we'll go ahead and multiply these out and add them together. So um, again, remember exponents first. So I have 4 squared is 16. So I'm going to have 3 times 16, or 48. Plus, then I have 0 times 4. That's just going to be a 0. And then the last one, remember that anything to the 0 power is going to be a 1. So 1 times 1 is 1. So we have 48 plus 0 plus 1. That's going to go ahead and give us 49. Okay, so my answer is going to be 49. That's in base 10. And when it's in base 10, we don't write that out, but like I said, base 10. Okay, let me go ahead and, you know, like I said, if you have a, another number, um, let's go ahead and take... Um, four, five, six, three, and base eight. And we want to convert this into a base 10 number. Okay, so again, my bases are all going to be eight. So this is going to be four times eight to some power, you know, plus five times eight to some power and so forth. So one way of writing it down is, you know, I'll just go ahead and say, okay, this is going to be four times eight to some power plus Five times eight to a power plus six times eight to a power plus three times eight to a power. We know we're gonna go from zero, you know, starting on the right and count up. So this is gonna be eight to the zero, eight to the first, eight to the second, eight to the third. Now I'm gonna multiply, add, multiply, add. When I add all these together, I'll have my number in base 10. Okay, so now I've got um, 8 to the third power, so I will have 4 times, uh, that's 512. So 4 times 512 is going to give me 2048. And then I have 5 times 8 squared is 64, so 5 times 64 is going to give me 320. Um, 6 times 8 is going to give me 48. Oops, 48. So plus 48. And then the last one, I got 3 times 8 to the 0. So remember, that's like, you know, 3 times, you know, 1. So that's going to be plus 3. So adding these up together, so I have 2,048 plus 320 plus 48 plus 3 will give me 2,419. And this is the number written in base 10. Okay. So remember, if you're going from another base into base 10, um, you're going to be multiplying. Just think about writing it in the expanded form. The difference being is that our base is going to be, you know, not 10. It's going to be 8, or in this case up here, you know, our base was a 4.